Hi, my name's David, and I am here with Larry, and we are looking at his solar shed that's here with his solar panels that are mounted on there. And we're looking at the 3,000 watt system that he has set up here in the shed to that he uses to power his house that's here on the other side of the field. All right, we're going to walk into the shed. All right, so Larry, you've got your 3,000 watt grow watt and four deep cycle 100 amp hour batteries yep and they're uh they're set up um in uh with 24 volts and i've got the right now the solar is coming in right now i got four panels coming in from the roof uh the, the four panels i'm eventually going to have the other four panels hooked up but right now i just have four and they're coming in here uh, they're tied together in uh series and they're coming in here, and you can see the two lines in from up there. They're coming in. Uh, right now, I have them up in a, um, a breaker. It's a 50 amp breaker, but obviously the 50 amp breaker is a little, little much, so we're going to be um, um, toning it down to the 20 amp breakers at some point. Uh, I have not run it over the surge protector yet, but right now they're just going into the breaker, uh, going into the grow watt, and then I've got my positive negatively the battery going in uh, for the or go, uh, for the battery going into the unit I have a disconnect here so I can disconnect the batteries if I need to um, and then I got my solar going in uh, still got some more work to do I got my ground uh, running in I got a bigger gauge wire uh, ground and wire that uh, I got my ground and pole in the ground outside uh, but I'm going to be upgrading the um, the, the ground and wire do a lot thicker grade. I think I got it over here. But this is what I got now with the ground. Um, we're upgrading that. And then I also have, uh, right now, I just have a, a extension cord going into the house uh, for my grid power. It's coming in and it's going into the output uh, or the input for the 110. And then my output of a 110 here is going up and it's going across, going into a breaker box that's supplying all of the power uh, for this particular building. Uh, right now, the only thing I've got um, operating in this building is I've had some batteries uh, that, are, that I'm charging up here. These are uh, for my power tools and I've got those charging. I have the ceiling fan and light uh, going right now. I have a, a little box fan here as well. Uh, for the, the the power, that's the only thing operating in this whole building. But this this is doing it all right now off of the, the grid. Yeah. And your your Romex is coming over here, and yes. uh, this comes into the top of this breaker box and is powering all that and yep. feeding these circuits. Yeah, and I I didn't jump the um, one ten um, across. So I got every other block uh, available, and I just put a tape over it right now. But I'm uh, eventually going to either jump it or fall, so I have every leg, both legs on. Yeah, that's a good point. A lot of people don't understand when you're bringing in 110, like this box is putting out, you're only powering one side yes. of your box. Yeah, only one side. And you can put the jumper across. Uh, I just didn't dong on me until I run it in. I'm like, okay, I'm just using every other one. Then I didn't think about the jumper, uh, so I'm gonna go back later and put the yeah. jumper in. But you know, for now, I do have the um, 110 breakers in, um, and then I have a uh, tape over the one so they don't have an exposed uh, box. Yeah. Stick a finger in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. uh, uh, but cool. it's, it's set up uh, right now. It's been working just with great. As you can see, uh, I think. Uh, uh, let's see the output: 120 volts. Um, I can't read too good, so that's 59.9 uh, uh, input a, from my solar that's panel. A, that's the hertz, uh, uh, the yep. uh, frequency. Uh, so yeah, you're bringing in 60 volts on the panels and outputting mm -hmm. 120 volts AC. I'm not using any battery now because obviously off of solar. Uh, input is 47 watts, output still uh, 120. Your batteries are just below 26 volts, Yep, which is pretty good for your 24 volt yep. bank. And uh, I think I am a third, because all the stuff that's on right now, I get 38, three, three point, volt. yeah, 
percent. Yeah, three point eight percent of my uh, total consumption. capacity. Yep. Right now, I did have a, a portable refrigerator or portable air conditioner in here, and it powered in the problem. Cool. Yeah, and it was actually working great. I just uh, didn't need it um, because I'm not out here all the time. And I do have my uh, uh, the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi hooked up um, right in a window so that I can uh, get it into the house. And so these batteries, you've got four batteries, and just so folks can see how the batteries are wired, you've got this bank has got a jumper over there, that bank's got a jumper over there. So this is two batteries, two 12 volt batteries are making a 24 volt battery. And those two are also making a 24 volt battery and then they are paralleled together with this line here and the uh, the negative that's over there yes and feeding up into the bottom of this box there's a breaker that uh, can disconnect the batteries um, and it's good to have a breaker on the batteries as well as a breaker on the solar input so if you disconnect both of those you can just, you know, all of these wires will be safe on the top so and then so this is the um, this is your input uh, or no, this is your output to your house right uh, this is the input 110 input grid power right okay oh yeah that's right coming from the house that's your input yeah. and he's got the a Romex socket is the output. and yeah I'm sorry I should have known that yeah that the Romex is going up there to your box and so that's output. This is the AC input. Got a USB port. And then these two lines here are the battery. And then these two are the solar input. So these boxes are actually really easy to set up. It is very easy to set up. Uh, the only, I mean, it's a mess right now. I don't like the way the wires are set up. Uh, it was because I first time ever doing it. You know, I was very nervous about every bit of it. So, <laughs> Uh, hooking the batteries up there, uh, getting ready to take a lead and go to the battery. It's like, <laughs> and, then, and then make sure no sparks, and then you get all set up. And then you're like, okay, now I'm gonna come over here and cut this switch. So it's like, all right, I'm gonna start out the door first. So I'm outside the door, reach around, and as long as I can make no, smoke, no, yeah, smoke. no smoke, no uh, smoke. I said, okay, I must have done something right. Um, and uh, so I don't like the wire, the setups right now. I, got, I don't like wires crossing over wires, USBs over power. Uh, I don't really like that, so I'm going to look at, I'm relocating this to another wall, the back side. And by doing that, I'm hopefully going to be able to kind of have everything straight down and then run off in a way that it's nothing's going to cross anything. I, I don't, I, to me, just trying to get it set up the first time, make sure it works. Uh, it was like, great, I did it. And then it's still there and it's still working. It's been working now for six months, seven mm -hmm. months. Uh, no problem whatsoever. Um, I just... Don't have, didn't want to go back and redo it and mess it all up again. So, cool, awesome. Well, thank you, Larry, for showing us your 3000 watt grill watt setup. Yeah, thank you. All right, we're here with four of the panels that Larry's fixing to set up. He's got those four on a shed over there, those are in production, and he's about ready to trench these four panels in and connect these four panels to be part of the same system as the ones on a shed he was asking about how to wire the panels so uh, right now his panels that are on the shed are in two series two parallel which means these two panels right here are connected positive to negative with a uh, with that positive free there that Larry's got and this negative here and this is what connects back to the charge controller and then the same with those two panels and so these two panels are in series and those two panels in series and then when you come off you can parallel those two sets of panels together now if we take these two panels connect them together we now have four solar panels in series so this is considered four series one parallel and now you have one negative here and one positive over there so all four of these solar panels are considered one solar panel 
they're 30 volts and 8 amps a piece and since they are in series they are right now going to be producing 120 volts at 8 amps and when they're in 2 series 2 parallel they would be producing 60 volts and 16 amps because when you connect in series the voltage goes up and the amp stays the same and when you go in parallel the voltage stays the same but the amps go up I'm at a hundred I'm a, right now exactly a hundred feet from the building so I done the calculator on 16 amps and it was going to be four gauge wire so I bought four gauge wire however uh, I think the um, now that it amps is going to be actually lower because I'm going to do uh, and, uh, as, as four panels as one I'm going to have eight amps and I think if you do the the math and the calculator it probably be somewhere either probably six gauge but uh, I, I, or it might be in seven I think uh, so uh, I uh, I'm going to hit then overkill because I plan on doing extra another I'm going to move those four panels off the roof I'm going to move those out here as well. So I have them probably set up here. And by doing that, I'll be able to put it all in there in the trench. So I have an, uh, a pipe in the ground with uh, the four gauge wire. I think it's going to be very helpful. Yeah, um, but the, you're going to have two sets and they're going to be parallel yes. together. Yes. So together, you're going to be 120 volts and 16 amps. 16, yeah, so that's uh, eight. And this run will be eight. Right. So that would be the 16 that's going to go out. So I think your four gauge will be right for. Yeah, that will be. Yeah, according to the calculator, 100 feet uh, with uh, 16 amps, uh, uh, it gave me um, four gauge. Actually, it gave me five gauge, but I only had my four. Cool. All right. Well, thanks again, Larry. This has been David, and we're looking at Larry's off grid solar setup.